In this video, I'm gonna show you how to zoom all the way in, boom, into the timeline here, and then all the way back out again. Uh, spoiler alert, there is no uh, actual zoom all the way in shortcut. Okay, so we're gonna create one. I think it's worth bothering making. Let me show you how. Okay, you probably know a few of the shortcuts plus is to zoom in, right? Okay, and if you wanna get all the way back out, it is backslash on your keyboard. Okay, shows you the entire sequence. But there's no way of zooming right in. You have to do this, plus, 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 plus. Okay, that gets you in and you can start seeing per frame. I like getting in that close. Mainly to do with sound, but that's okay. A complete zoom in would be handy. There isn't one, there isn't a shortcut, but we can make one. Super quick, super easy. On a Mac, it's under Premiere Pro. Go to Keyboard Shortcuts. And on a PC, remember it's under Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts. Okay, and the term we want is something called zoom to frame. So type it in the search. It's gonna say, here it is, there's no shortcut. And if backslash is the zoom out to the entire sequence, what I'm gonna do is click in here and go option on my Mac and hit backslash. Or if you're on a PC, hold down the Alt key and hit backslash. It's not being used by anything else, which is good for me. So I'm gonna click OK. So now backslash all the way out, option backslash all the way in. Hey, instead of zoom, 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 All right, it's kind of a trick that we had to make up ourselves, but I find really handy. This won't be in the shortcut sheet because we made it up. You can make it anything you like. Uh, so just make a mental note if you did make that change. All right, next timeline trick. 